All right, I'm gonna show you quickly how to curve text like this on LogoMaker, L-O-G-O-M-A-K-R.com, and also little uh, curves like this as well. Um, the, the way I do it is I'll take like a circle, for example, and I will first make a, a circle and I'll say, okay, this is the curvature that I want. And then I will align all of these around the circle. And I'm going to show you how to do that real fast right now. So let's go ahead and just, I'm going to undo some of this clip art here. And I could take this, the R, for example, and I'll just copy it by right clicking and I'll just duplicate it. So right click, copy, duplicate, and then you could duplicate the R, Y, A, N. So you want to first start with a letter just like this. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to erase all this and I'm going to keep this circle here and you want to find the font that's good. So let's just type in R and you want to make this fit that. You don't want a lot of area around it. So let's do that first. Get that first letter as big as you or small as you want it and then the color and also the, um, the font that you want as well. Then you want to position it here and then rotate it around here just like this. There you go. So rotate it. So I'm going to put it right on the R. I'm going to highlight this, make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. And then I'm going to duplicate it. So I'm going to copy it, Command C or Control C, Control V. You could do that. Or you could just right click again and press duplicate. And I'm going to put it right here. And now I'm going to rotate it again. And I'm going to put the next letter y and you're going to do that and space it out the way you need it all along the curve so i'm going to keep going i'm going to put a do that here there you go and then n and you'll notice that maybe it's a little bit um to the left and maybe I want it to the right, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So you'll see it's a little bit more to the left, you know, than the right. But let's get the spacing first. And the spacing looks pretty good, and you could use your arrow keys to move it around there. So it looks like it's pretty much on this. I could probably do it a little bit better, but that's pretty much it. Then I'm gonna highlight all this. I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna press down on my mouse, highlight everything, and then I'm gonna go up here, and I'm gonna move this. So kind of rotates like that, just like that. So that's how I get that around a circle. Now I could take off this circle if I wanted to, or if I want to keep the circle, I could, but I'm gonna remove that circle and I could add my clip art to this. Um, let's say the circle's like this. Okay, let me get rid of all this, sorry. And I can make this circle kind of match that circle, if that makes sense. So it kind of curves around that. And then you could do the same thing for this curve as well. And um, you could put all the letters on another circle. So I, I just kind of imitated that circle by going like this, you know. And then I use that as, as a reference point and I put all the letters on that as well. So that's basically how I did that. And um, again, you could highlight everything and rotate it the way you need to. but that's how you curve letters.